Hello, and welcome back to the Cracking Thing YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving lead code problem 133, clone graph. Given a reference of a node in a connected, undirected graph, return a deep copy clone of the graph. Each node in the graph contains a value integer and a list of nodes of its neighbors. So, basically we're given some graph, you know, one, two, three, four, and you know, it's connected in some way. And obviously we can't just return the original graph. Um, we need to return it cloned and in the same order. So if you haven't already seen my video on how to clone a linked list, which is another one of these lead code questions involving cloning, the way that we typically wanna do these questions and really any question that asks you to clone something is, oops, let me change my pen color so you guys can actually see this. Let's see, green, I like green. Okay, the way that we do this is actually to maintain a mapping dictionary, which the key is going to be the old node and the value is going to be the new cloned node, right? And what you wanna do is simply traverse the old graph clone each node, put it into this, you know, mapping dictionary here, and then, you know, use a queue to basically just go through the entire graph, clone everything that you can, you know, all of its neighbors, add them to, you know, a queue for further cloning later on, and then make sure you update the references. So for example, you know, we have one, we clone it, and then we need to clone two, and we need to clone four. So what we wanna do is we wanna clone two and then we wanna update one, it's, you know, children, the cloned version with this new clone two. And then we also wanna put in two's uh, children one, but we wanna use the new cloned copy. And that way when we're updating the children, right, the, the list of nodes for its neighbors with the cloned values at the end, everything will be connected correctly. Uh, because we'll have those new values. And all we need to do at the end is just return the the head node that we were given. Typically, we'll be given one node that serves as the head, and we just wanna return the copied value of that head, which is gonna contain our entire graph. Obviously, it's a graph, so we just need to return the head of the graph, um, and then that's all we need to do. Um, that's how we're gonna do it, pretty straightforward. I think it's a lot easier to just look at in code uh, as opposed to me kind of drawing it out. But basically we just want to copy all of the nodes using a dictionary mapping the old node to the new node. And then remember, we need to update the, the neighbors as well, which is really the only tricky part to this question. Otherwise, it's just a pretty standard uh, traversal through an undirected graph. And you can do it using a BFS or a DFS. I prefer to use BFS because I don't like recursion, but it's up to you. You can use whatever you want. The approach is gonna be the same. So let's go to the code editor and see how we're going to code this up. Okay, we're in the code editor. Let's write the code. So if we're not given a node, then what we wanna do is just return none. Obviously, if we can't clone anything, then we just return nothing because there's nothing to do. So we're gonna say, if not node, we're gonna return none, right? Otherwise, what we need to do is we need to maintain a dictionary which is gonna map old values to new values. So we're gonna say cloned is gonna be an empty dictionary and we need to clone our original node. So we're gonna say cloned of node. So this is gonna equal to a clone of it with its value and then we still need to clone its children so we're gonna leave those as empty. And remember that each one each node class has a value and then a list of nodes as its neighbors. So currently we're just gonna initialize it as an empty node, uh, empty list of nodes. Now what we need to do is we need to actually traverse our graph and clone all of those children and link them back to all of the original edges that they have. So to do that, we're gonna use breadth first search. You could use a depth first search, but if your graph is big enough, you could blow up your stack and get a stack overflow. Uh, so typically I tend to use breath first search for this because you don't have to worry about that. So let us define our queue that we're gonna use the BFS with. So we're gonna say queue is gonna be collections.deck and we're gonna initialize it with our node because that's where we're gonna start processing. 
So we're gonna say while Q, so while we still have stuff to clone, we're gonna say that the current node is gonna be Q.pop left. And now what we need to do is we need to clone all of its neighbors, assuming they haven't already been cloned. In that case, we don't want to clone them again. So we're gonna say for neighbor in cur.neighbors. So for all the neighbors in our current nodes neighbors, we wanna check that they haven't been cloned. So we actually don't need a visited set here because our cloned dictionary will actually act as a visited set. So if a value is in the cloned dictionary, that means that we've been there before and we've already cloned it. So we don't have to worry about maintaining a visited set. We can use the cloned set as basically a visited set. If the key exists, that means that we've been there. So we're gonna say if neighbor, so if the node is not already been cloned, so not in cloned, and remember neighbor is gonna represent the the original node, not the cloned version. So if that node is not already been cloned, then we need to clone it. So we're gonna say cloned of neighbor. Uh, yes, did I spell that right? No. Neighbor uh, equals to node, and then we're gonna clone that neighbor. And for some reason I can't spell today. And again, we're gonna use an empty list for its neighbors because we still have to clone them. Now what we need to do is we need to append that neighbor to the um, the queue because we need to process it and clone all of its children. So we're gonna add it to the queue. And what we wanna do now is we want to link back. Now that we've cloned the neighbor, we need to update the clone of whatever our current node is. Remember how we initialize its uh, neighbors to an empty list? Now we need to start populating that list with the clones of the neighbors that we've just created. So what we wanna do is we wanna say cloned of cur. So cloned of cur represents the cloned version of our current node. We now need to access its neighbors and we need to append to the list of neighbors the cloned value of the neighbor that we just cloned. So we're gonna say cloned of neighbor and we now populate its neighbors. So essentially we're going to populate the neighbors for all of our nodes as we go. And at the end, remember that we need to return the same node that we got in the beginning, which is our node here, except for we need to return the clone. So we're simply gonna return cloned of node, cloned of node, and I'm just gonna run this, make sure I haven't spelled anything wrong. And it looks like we are all good. So let's fire this off and cool, accepted. So what is the time and space complexity for our algorithm? Well, we can see that all our algorithm is doing is a breadth first search over this graph. And we're going to touch every single element once and only once. So this is gonna be a big O of N, uh, where N represents the number of nodes in this graph. Pretty straightforward. So what is the space complexity? Well, we are cloning our original data structure. So the amount of space we need to actually store all those nodes is just gonna depend on how big the original graph is, which is just gonna be the number of nodes in our original graph, so we can just think of it as big O of N. So that is your time and space complexity, linear for both the time and the space, pretty straightforward, just depends on how large the original graph is, uh, and that's how much time and space it's gonna to take to actually clone it. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is another one of those clone problems. You can take the same logic that we did here essentially and apply it to a lot of the clone questions on LeetCode. I think there's one for cloning a linked list, cloning a binary tree, and I think there's a few other ones out there floating around. Uh, let's see if it suggests any. Yeah, copy binary tree, clone NRA tree. It's all, it's all the same stuff. You can take the principles here where we use the clone dictionary and apply it there. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. YouTube algorithm, wow, I really can't speak today. Uh, if you wanna see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be pumping out a whole lot more videos in the future, so subscribe so you don't miss those. Otherwise, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a nice day.